G'day, today I'm going to show you how to do a scan to folder from a Lexmark device. So what you want to do is uh, put your document into the ADF again, making sure the guides are nice and tight and or into the uh, flatbed scanner itself. Um, you want to choose scan center, which takes you into the network folder shortcuts. As you can see there, it says network folder. And these are our two presets for network folder. I can throw it into Jenny's documents or Jason's for this time being. I'll choose Jason's and push scan. This will set with all the, the default presets that we've already set in the machine. If, however, you did need to uh, scan a little bit differently, for example, we'll put the document um, back into there. We will go to, uh, oh, that's just giving us a document to say that the, the scan went through. Um, you can go into here and select that. That's to adjust it, that's not what we want to do. Uh, this is here, what I was looking for, sorry, the scan settings there. So you can change the scan settings. Once again, these are the default um, main things that you probably would need to change, whether you want to go two-sided, one-sided, um, changing the resolution and everything else, or you can go into the full-on settings just like before, um, changing individual options um, as you go, depending on what you want to do. Um, push the back button to go back one step if you ever need to go back one step. So if we go to scan center, we're gonna select JSON scan, go to scan settings, you can change your settings there, um, color, black and white, whatever you want, and uh, press scan. But your network administrator can save these as a default because most of the time we're doing the same scans over and over again anyway. So this is basically saved with defaults. You would save it as color with the normal one you do. So realistically, most people will just need to go straight into scan center click on their scan they want to do and press scan. It's a two-step process. Um, this can also be saved to your main screen as well. So you notice that we went into Scan Center here. Um, you can actually set them up as an icon on your screen. To do that, you would go into Scan Center, just select that icon there and then do Save to Favorite. So once again, we're gonna call this whatever our favorite is. So let's do Folder, Scan, Scan, okay. The shortcut's been added successfully. Now, if we want to add that to our main screen, we can go into Shortcut Center. Uh, and we have our, where do we have our shortcut created? We add, select the shortcut there. And we can actually select the shortcut and add it to the home screen from there. Rename it or do what you need to do. Hopefully that helps.